Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Curling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge, where today we finally will learn about Mega Evolution, I believe. I believe that's what happens today. Do we go in this house? I... maybe? Hey, free stuff, man? Oh, it's a Kalos. Yes, that is exactly what I was hoping for. The Eviolite. Yes, yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful, dunderful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, whatever. What about you? I doubt it. Free stuff? Okay, so let's definitely give the Eviolite to somebody. If you're unfamiliar with this item, it's uh awesome. Although, <laughs> once upon a time, it did lead to our demise because what it does is like doubles the defense and special defense of uh a pokemon who is not yet fully evolved so right now like juge and axe and chloeo and lucasander could all benefit from a good old eviolad uh goyron's fully evolved fatterhorn doesn't evolve so there we go it almost seems like we should give it to Juge, uh, given his <laughs> under-leveledness. Let's see, that would be, uh, uh, pr uh, otherwise he's just holding the or Orin Berry, it's a 26, so it would give him a pretty solid, look, even if you doubled both of Juge's defenses right now, he wouldn't even match Fatterhorn, who's only, well, seven levels higher, so that maybe is a little unfair. Uh, let's see, you can't handle it. You would be pretty bulky all of a sudden. I say double, I'm not sure if it's double. I think it's it's close. I don't know, I should maybe look it up. You would be outrageous. You'd be very bulky. That would be great. You would be very bulky. That would be great. You would be still regular bulky. We have got to train Juge at some point, you guys. We gotta get him up there. Uh, um, man, oh man. It's like, do we make the great greater? Or do we just protect our lower... Let's see, so... You get the hard stone, so that's actually benefiting you. Amulet, coin, Orenberry. So it's really, should we do it to Chloeo or should we do it to Juge? And... Uh, Let's go ahead and just do it to Juge at the moment, since he's got such a long way to go. Evil light. That can still evolve. It raises both special friends. Yeah, give. Yes, yeah, switch. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Boy, we gotta, we're gonna have to do some grinding here. At some point, Juge, you gotta get up there, bro. All right, all right. In the meantime, is there more in this town? What about you? You got, what do you want? What do you want? So we're gonna go, I think this is the episode where we finally get to the Lucario. When you act like Pokemon exist only to battle, then winning or looting becomes the only thing that matters. That can make everything a lot less fun. It can, but it can also make things even more fun when you're winning. Am I right? You guys know what I'm talking about. What, what'd you say? I want to see every single move that can be used by Pokemon. Okay, you're gonna have to do some traveling, bro. Eternal life, huh? It probably seems like nice at first glance, but I'd get bored with it. Haha, <laughs> foreshadowing. Okay, let's go. Let's go head up here. Are we fully healed? Is that the thing, right? That's that's good. I wanna say there might be a rival battle coming up. Is that a thing? If so, then... Wine gums, mm, cauliflower, someone leads with their own uh, meow stick. And if that's the case, we're just going to put you up front. There we go. All right, that's better. Just in case. Just in case. Burn it. I think we do have to battle to see, like, who gets the mega stone or something. Check what out. Isn't this stone cool? I get it from a person called the Wandering Stone Collector. It might be a mega stone, but you can have it. The intriguing stone. Oh. Let's see. Oh, look at that. The Tower of Mastery. So cool. I agree. 
See you there. You don't seem like you have any business there. All right, I am the master. You are the guy who gives me intriguing stones. I want to know. Mm, I want to be more awesome than I am now. I know traders of Pokemon both feel that way. Yes. It'd be hard for me to be even more awesome than I am now, but whatever, dude. A max ether. Ether? Uh, one of these days I'll learn. I saw Detective Pikachu last night, though, and it was wonderful. I really liked it. Like, it's not too intense. It's pretty light. Uh, but Ryan Reynolds is so funny. Uh, the, I mean, it's, it's somewhat predictable, somewhat... Uh, Somewhat not, though. I mean, it's it it's better. It's it's almost like better than it had any right to be. But that's exactly yeah, I like that. Here we go. Oh look, it's a Lucario, who they unbelievably managed to uh, not include in the movie, which is fantastic because otherwise they put all of their big time mascots in there like all of them you had Mewtwo and Charizard and all the starter Pokemon and obviously Pikachu you had uh Greninja even mm, they didn't put they didn't put Incineroar in there I'm trying to go through the um the Smash lineup that's how you can tell who the Pokemon company really cares about right oh but Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name of course hmm oh come here for a moment won't you bruh only one of you. I thought he gave five kids a Pokedex. Isn't there anyone else with you? Oh, look. Oh, we're all here. Who's that joke to you, Big J? People call me the Mega Evolution Guru. Probably because I've evolved my beard into really big eyebrows. Is that eyebrows on his head? Or is that his beard? Wow. Okay. My name's Trevor. Ah, pleased to meet you, Sycamore pupils. But there's uh, only three of you, huh? Mm-hmm. What's this now? Were you the one who found the intriguing stone? Yes, it was me. <sniffs> Nothing comes... What? What? I'm not lying. Shut up. Shut up, Trevor. Are you Trevor? No. You're Tierno? I... Yes. You got it. It was given to me. Well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, you found it. Oh, my God. Now who's lying? My goodness. Just an ordinary rock. What was the point here now? Sure, a lot of hubbub about that. Does that mean anyone has arrived? Mm hmm. Lucardo's in a spoken but it's really happy to see you. Well, we should still see what's going on. Hmm. Looks like everyone's finally here. Big J. Big J. Yeah, where have you been? It feels like it's been some time since our whole group has gathered in one place. Yeah, it's been since we met up on Route 7. Mr. Evolution Guru, the Abbey, I was wondering this whole time, Abbey, who, who is that over there? Oh, this is my granddaughter, Karina. She's Shadow City's gym leader. Her eyebrows aren't nearly as impressive as mine. She has to wear a helmet instead of relying on her eye hair to protect her head. Hmm. Yes, I don't know about Paul. I did yet to Pokemon battle. I did to go stronger and evolve. Oh, and then with Pokemon that evolve certain items. Yeah, some people evolve through friendship, and others only evolve in certain places. I'm, I realize I'm changing the voices up a lot. There's a lot of people talking, and all it means, and we all know what evolution is. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we all know what mega evolution is. If you don't, they're going to give me a rock, and it's going to make something super evolve into, like, a fourth stage, but that only lasts for the duration of the battle. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Stop talking. Please. Oh, mega stone and a mega ring. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, but just come out and say it already. Uh, because I only have one mega ring, it's a very precious item. That's why my research isn't getting anywhere. So I wanted to decide amongst who deserves it, the mega successor. Oh my gosh. Look at this. These guys are just immediately giving up. Like, nah, it shouldn't be one of us. It should be between you two guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Bring it on, dude. Here we go. I feel like I almost forgot which one we were calling wine gums and which one we were calling cauliflower. I think you, you were... I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I will master mega evolution. I'll do whatever. Rival. There we go. That's the answer. Mm-hmm. I'll also do it for my Pokemon. We've come so far together and they've never stopped believing in me. They're a trainer. You can tell your Pokemon are stronger. I can tell just by looking at you. But no, I will not lose. I'm going to win. All right, at least someone has a backbone in this group. Jeez. 
What do you have? Is it a Goyrin? It is! Meow stick! Yeah, well, we were prepared for you. We have one of those too. Except also, we have a fatter horn. Do you have a fatter horn? I don't think so. Where's your Snorlax? It's not here. Fake out? Okay, great. I'm glad you did seven damage. You did. You took more than that in Rocky Helmet. Ha <laughs> ha! Fool! Think you can fake out fatter horn? He's never sleeping on the job, except for when he's sleeping, because I told him to on the job. And now you're paralyzed. Hopefully, hopefully, get him fatter horn. Always got to be careful with the rival battles. They could always pull out something ridiculous out of nowhere. Mm hmm. Stop trying to cause fatter horn emotional damage. You've got this fatter horn. Body slam that dumb cat. Yes. Well done, buddy. Well done. All right. All right. Good ding. Oh, 29. We did it. Absol. Oh, gee. Okay. Now, if you will recall, the last Absol we ran into was really strong. It did like bite, and we were like, ow. That, why did you do that to us? That hurt. I'm guessing also this means eventually she's going to have a Mega Absol. Mm-hmm. Although I think she has like Mega Aerodactyl at some point, so I'm confused. Here's going to be strategy for fighting Absol. Number one. Body slam him in the face. Okay. Mm. Slash, how much is this going to do? That was a crit, and we took it pretty good. Hit it with a Rocky Helmet. Please body slam it. Oh! Of course, the thing about Absol is always that it's totally a glass cannon. So the question is, is she going to um, heal it, or can we just body slam this thing into the next world? Slash. Okay, so we should be good. We saw even what a crit looked like, which is to say, oh! It knocked itself out by running into our awesome Rocky Helmet. Rocky Helmet wins again. <laughs> we still use Body Slam. Ah, Quilladin. Ah, yes. Oh, man. Uh, th one of the reasons I love Quilladin, or uh, just the whole uh, Chespin line, is because they got, like, Spiky Shield at some point, which basically is also the Rocky Helmet. So if you're wearing both of the things, it's like, if they physically hit you, they run into the Spiky Shield and the Rocky Helmet, and it's just so much, like, fun... Uh, tiny damage. Anyway, not important right now. Um, so I want to body slam it, but I'm also a little afraid it could do some, like, big damage. It might have, oh, it might have, like, hammer arm or something very twisty, very twisty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to switch to our own Goyrin here because I'm afraid of the hammer arm. I, I remember it learns it eventually. What you got? Bite. Oh, no! Okay, you sneaky, sneaky sneak. Okay, that didn't do that much damage. And it was super effective. So we're just going to uh, side shock this thing right in its dumb face. And it's going to die. Boom. Oh, it did not do much. Oh, we got to switch. Goyren. <gasps> okay didn't like that don't like the way this is going oh see now i'm still afraid of the he's definitely gonna use bite again right now gosh what if he has if he has hammer arm he would have used it against snorlax that's that to me feels obvious right he would have because why wouldn't you it would have been a dumb move a nerve. Yeah, don't eat those berries. Need alarm. Oh, gosh. Did nothing. Here we go. All right. Fire Fang. Defeat him. It's super effective. Oh, my gosh, Quilladin. Stop being so amazingly defensive. Yeah, did you see me eat that berry? You can't do that because you're unnerved. Because it's so scary to face down the mighty Chloeo. Fire Fang. We got it. Yes. Well done, team. My goodness. We must remember about Hammer Arm, though, because that totally comes up. Not good. Very dangerous. 
Whew, we did it. We won. We received 3,000 for winning. We're so rich. These kids have so much money. I was so strong. I could feel how powerful the bond between you and your partner is. Losing is frustrating, but you would definitely be able to make up all of your Pokemon. I am sure of it. You're welcome, Wine Gums. Apparently, I thought you two and your Pokemon were all winners. Mega Evolution is nothing more than just one way to make Pokemon stronger. There are many trainers who bring out the strength of their Pokemon without Mega Evolution. That's probably going to be us. First, you should challenge Corinna, the gym leader. Ugh. Ugh. But my mysterious trainer and my Lucario may have taken a shine to you now. But I must test you to see if you're ready to challenge the Mega Evolution successor. I'll be waiting in the gym. Okay. Dear Corinna, I already beat you. And your dumb Lucario. Both of them. I'll bet the professor will be happy if you master a mega evolution. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I bet they would be too. <laughs> okay. 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 Get really strong. I'm so glad we're traveling together. All right, bye. See ya. Man, I totally forgot we're going to have to go fight the gym before we do the mega evolution fight. This is where the game, like, isn't it frustrating how they're like, you really need to go test your skills against this particular person before I teach you about mega evolution. It's like, I literally already have. I don't, ugh, it's so annoying. Oh, there's the gym though. Right there, right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, so nerve wracking. Okay, mostly our strategy for the gym is just going to be, no, um, send out Goyrin. That's the, hey, you, Esper, Mashoo! you don't wear shoes, that's ridiculous, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's going to be our strategy at the gym, Psy Shock, everything in sight, because Goyrin already has really high defenses, and is strong against everything. So as long as they don't whip out some ridiculous dark type move or something in there, or like a bug type move, I think we'll be okay. We have face down most of what they have to offer anyway. We should get, do we have potions? We should get potions. Mm-hmm, bye. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh, look at this. We can, uh, huh. Let's, yeah. I'm gonna get poison jab and I'm gonna get dig. There we go. Both seem like pretty good moves, right? Didn't expect you to have good TMs. Bye. Do, 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 do. Hyper potion. Gonna buy like 10. There we go. Wow, that was $12,000 in potions. Poke dollars. Everything's expensive. Let's see if anyone can learn Poison Jab real quick. <laughs> oh, wait. I took... It's the wrong menu item. My bad. My bae. Oh, no one can get it. Some of them can get Dig. I don't know if anyone would really benefit from this. Although, this might be worth doing before the Electric Gym which is near before then we're definitely going to have to train juge up some because um did i say three of them can four of them can i can count juge will be an enormous asset in the electric gym for show sure. although uh, they've got those stupid emolgas mm, i hate emolga although we have psy shock which i'm pretty sure no it's not side shock that can't miss. It's disarming voice that can't miss. I don't know. In any case, the point is... Oh, he has payback. Um, oh, we can rock tomb stuff at the electric gym. I forgot about that. That'll be nice. Those dumb emolgas. Ugh. Ugh. All they do is double team and aerial ace. It's like, you can't hit me, but we never miss. Also... Nuzzle, now you're paralyzed. Super annoying Pokemon. I do not like them at all. Uh, just because you're this gen's Pikachu in Molga, it doesn't make you cool, okay? Let's see. Goyrin, man, been earning so much respect on the team lately. Just destroying enemy Pokemon left and right, and probably going to be the hero of this gym. 
let's be honest. It's just sort of how it goes. The Shalo City Gym. Do you give me anything? Do I get a fresh water if I talk to you? Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. See ya. Bye. Not helpful. Whew, I can skate upstairs now, apparently. Do, do, do. This is cool. It's like a skating rink. Whee! Take off jumps? Sort of. Not very fun. What about you? Fight me. Hey, gym dude. You look like you could do some lessons. Don't worry, when it comes to speed skating and Pokemon battling, you won't find a better teacher. Um, I was actually hoping to give out some lessons, not uh, take any. Oh my gosh. Immediately, we have a problem. Oh my gosh. This is exactly the worst thing that could have happened. That thing, if it has like a big bug move. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm immediately worried. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. 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 We can do this. I don't know if it has a bug move. If it has, like, Mega Horn, Goyron could be severely in trouble. If it has, like, if it doesn't, oh gosh. Should we go for the attack? Should we switch to Fatterhorn? If he has a big fighting move, though, then Fatterhorn's in trouble. We could just go straight to Axe. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Chloeo also could be a little bit weak to the fighting. Axe could be pretty neutral. Juge isn't strong enough. Lucas Andrews four times weak to fighting. Heracross. It's level 30. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. If it has Mega Horn, we're so screwed. Ugh. Why didn't I remember Heracross? Oh my gosh. I feel like paralyzed by decision. Should we go for the attack with Goyrin? Should we switch to Axe? Ugh. I don't know how much damage we'll do to this thing if we just launch a Psy Shock at it. But if we can't lose Goyrin. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is so not cool. This is so not cool at all. Mm. Switch. We're switching. We're switching. We're running. Come on. You got an axe. Swing the axe. Defeat the bug. Chip away. Okay. That's uh Oh! That did so much damage. Okay, but 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 it was not damage that um it wasn't a bug type move though. Which is important. Not that it doesn't have one, but it didn't immediately go for it. We took so much damage for that, though. Gosh. <clears throat> Certainly has a fighting type attack, though. And that's definitely not the strongest attack, right? Chip away, I doubt. Oh, should we switch back? If we switch back, then we shouldn't have even switched. But if he uses something stronger, Axe could be in serious trouble. Do we have an X defend? Of course not. Of course not. That would be ridiculous. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. This is bad. We cannot lose Axe. We cannot lose Axe. But who can we switch to? Should we switch at all? Should we switch back to Goyren? Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. What am I doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? This is such a dumb fight. This is such a dumb fight. Oh, takedown. We've lost the takedown before. Oh, God, that did so much damage. I did so much damage. Oh, I don't like this thing at all. Oh, my gosh. If he hits us, that was not. That was like almost half. We're going for the side shock. Let's do it. Let's go. Come on. Please just knock it out in one shot. Go here. Oh, God. Yo. Oh. Oh, wait, hit the re live it recoil. <gasps> oh.
Oh God. So nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. That was outrageous. Okay. Wow. Um, so we're gonna go heal. I do not want to fight anyone else in this gym right now. No, 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 no. Maybe we should just straight up, we we'll just go for the potions. <laughs> uh-huh. There we go. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well. Uh, I think that was a good stopping point for today's episode. We had a rival battle. We fought down probably the most dangerous Pokemon to our cause in Heracross, I think. At the moment, we just do not have a solid answer for um, something that is bug and fighting type. Who knew? Uh, that was what I was worried about. I was like, well, what what, what bug Pokemon would they have at the fighting gym that could threaten Goyrin? What dark Pokemon would they have that could threaten Goyrin? Heracross is apparently what they could have. Uh, but we got around it. So, and I'm pretty sure Karenna does not have one. Like her, her ace Pokemon is her Howlucha, um, despite having two Lucario as well. So, whew, my goodness. And we've taken down Howlucha before. Um, it's tricky. I mean, we're just going to side shock everything. Duh. Boy, I wonder if we should... Well, no, I was going to say maybe we should put the Rocky Helm and a Goyrin for the fight just to, like, increase the damage, but uh, then we lose the Mind Plate, so we can't do that. Um, man. Okay. Well, join us next time when we take on the rest of this freaking gym, which, God, if we lose Goyrin, I don't know what we're going to do because not everyone else is terribly well-equipped to fight fighting types. Axe could do okay, as you saw. Took a bit of damage there. Maybe mm, maybe we should put the Eviolite on Axe just for this gym. Because I have a feeling, given his current level, Juge wouldn't make a huge difference either way. Yeah, that might be the thing to do. Just so we have a little bit more bulk on the team if we need to switch. Mm -hmm. Axe is our next best option. Yeah, I think we'll probably do that. Okay, so... Gosh, this might take a little bit more planning than initially imagined, but we're going to do it. We're going to take it down. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to leave a comment in case uh, we name a new Pokemon after you. And the next episode, we finally maybe actually are getting into Lucario, although I'm not sure if it's going to make it on the team. It will still need a name regardless. And don't forget to uh, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke episodes. If you want to hit the little bell thing to make sure, you know, we don't, you don't, you, you're informed the moment the next episode comes out. That would be nice too. But otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Bye.